What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Pokemon Masters video. Today we're going to be focusing on what is the best way to get through the game, especially if we're going free to play. So the truth is, is that they they give you essentially, or they gave you for free, a amazing sync pair that is going to be your carry throughout the game as far as all the content that is available right now. Um, and that is actually one of the first, it is the first sync pair you get outside of yourself and Pikachu and that is Rosa and um, Snivy which eventually turns into Superior. So Superior is an insane like just damage, uh, can just an amazing tank that for whatever reason soaks up all the enemy damage and it has a lot of great support abilities as well. So we're going to go through the, in this video we're going to talk about you know why actually we're not sure I can only speculate why it's an amazing tank uh, but then go through how big of a difference the assort support abilities can make as well in a battle so let's get into our first part one interesting thing about this is that the computer AI I feel like they often target it and superior is actually very tanky so I find that superior never attacks but my opponents always are attacking it and it's basically soaking up all the damage so my glass cannons like Pikachu or whoever the other Pokemon Sync pair is uh, can continue to do damage on my opponents. So let's just take a quick look at its stats. 429 HP, defense 118, so definitely it's not an attacker. And even special defense is much higher than special attack. So I'm still not sure why the opponents target it, but uh, we're going to actually go into one of the high level training areas. Actually we'll do one that I've yet to complete. So let's jump into tech course. Uh, so I've never completed this before, and we'll just kind of observe how this works. Actually, we're going to substitute you for Mudsdale. So we have the... So I'm assuming that Mudsdale will kind of be doing the damage. Here that Pikachu or Mudsdale will be attacking while Superior just soaks up all the damage. So let's take a look. <coughs> yep, so Mudsdale is going in. Yep, just as we expected. Even though their attacks aren't particularly effective against Superior, everyone keeps attacking it. So this is something I feel like we can really take advantage of, especially in the early game, uh, when you're facing anything that's PvE, is that all of my, like, throughout my entire time playing, this seems to be the case, and it really allows, you know, Pikachu is, in my opinion, like a glass canyon. It doesn't take much to knock him out. And look at that, like the splash damage did more than the direct hit. So yeah, if you guys have not been prioritizing Rosa, I definitely recommend to do so. And, you know, really utilize the fact that um, her Pokemon is always targeted. And that's really your, your way to tank all the damage while you're the Pokemon deal, take out everything. And, you know, it, it was always confusing to me why Rosa is like, you start off with a five star. Um, but basically, compared to all my other sync pairs, this one's probably the most useful, where I just bring two Pokemon that are the opponent's weaknesses, and, you know, unless it's Superior's weakness, which is like air type, actually, I feel like even then, like, it could soak the damage. Okay, so to demonstrate Superior's support abilities, we're going to have two recordings side by side. On the first one, I believe the one on the right, is we're just gonna leave it running auto, and where, Lycanroc is just going to eventually use Stone Edge to knock out all the Pokemon and the other one I'm going to manually do it, but I'm also going to be using the Energize ability that Superior provides So the Energize basically adds three energy bars to the team bar and which will allow me to spam more abilities And the difference will be that eventually the one just that's just running auto um, Actually, I'm using the XP attack all special attack all I don't think that really affects Lycanroc um, but that is also another great ability depending on who the other two Pokemon are they can really take advantage of that additional special attack but uh, essentially and so the video on the right so the one is actually already done and then the one on the right essentially gets into that awkward point where all right we have to wait for three charges rock throw just isn't that strong or at least auto doesn't use it so we're going to need to wait a while for charge up three bars to use that attack and this is kind of like the big difference between you know when you use energize and yeah for this fight it doesn't make a difference but when as the 
the um, opponents get stronger, <clears throat> obviously, you know, that would make a big difference. Here we're actually using Pikachu and Solrock, so these are not really ideal attackers. Um, and it still does make a significant difference, just be able to spam out more abilities and upping the special attack for Pikachu. So I threw in Pikachu just because he does, his attacks are based more on special attack. I'm pretty sure because that's how his stats scale. Um, so this is just another example where the support abilities that Superior provides just really enables the other Pokemon to not only do their best, and of course we're adding on the fact that Superior is the only one being attacked. Um, so it's just so useful. Um, bring two Pokemon that can take out the opponent, bring Superior to handle everything else. Tank the damage, keep your energy up, keep really high special attack. Uh, I'm not sure what else you need in a support tank. All right, so now at this point, actually, I do have um, Superior at level 85, so it's uh, max or I can level up one more one more set of levels, but I'm still working on getting all the materials for that. Um, but I do want to just speculate on why Superior might be so good. I'm wondering if just the way that the AI operates, especially the enemy AI, it's not so much about... I, I feel like the appropriate prioritization of any AI would be to attack your opponents that have the best... Uh, combination of special attack or attack and then potentially take their type into effect as well uh, but i don't that doesn't seem to be the case for superior like superior is a support however has so much hp and defense and special defense that most opponents can't take it out anyway but they essentially must just assign multipliers to all the different stats and superiors uh, after the multipliers just comes out above most other pokemon I think at one point I leveled up Pikachu quite a bit over, I think at the time was Snivy, and they were targeting Pikachu right off the bat, and actually that was really bad, so I leveled up Superior a little bit more, and then they went back to targeting uh, Superior or Snivy at the time. So that's just my speculation on what makes Superior so good um, and why the opponent's AI always targets it. So that's all for today's video. Um, as always, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Do you kind of feel like there's a different MVP uh, for free-to-play players? Let me know what your thoughts are. And um, if not, yeah, definitely look forward to a lot more Pokemon Masters content coming in the near future. I am just loving this game. I've been playing it nonstop all weekend. And uh, I feel like, you know, this thing has a lot of potential and could go, uh, you know, could be a very fun game in the long term. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching guys. I'm Juan Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time.